Hi everyone. Today's project is a Dell Inspiron 11 inch. The uh, DC adapter needs to be replaced. And so, uh, the first thing you want to do is pull all the screws from the bottom here. There's about nine of them. And once those are all out, you go ahead and use a plastic pry tool or uh, something like a guitar pick to kind of pry the bottom away from the the rest of the housing and there's just some little clips in there that keep it clipped in and so you want to be gentle with it so you don't break those but it shouldn't be too difficult just a little bit of a pry on there And once you get the front and the sides, the rest is really easy. So we get that off. All right, so once that's done, we want to go ahead and remove these three screws out of the battery. And once you get the screws out, it should just lift right out. And we want to just set that aside. Now, the battery is, or the, the speaker is going to get in the way here later on. So we just want to pull that out and just lift it up and gently pull back on this plastic piece to remove it from the logic board and we'll just set that aside so it's not in the way then you want to pull out the cable for the mouse or the trackpad and it's just a matter of flipping up this plastic clip and then pull the cable out and then next is the hard drive you want to unplug that from the board so just kind of pull that straight up and you want to hold the board down somewhere over here so it doesn't pull the whole board up <coughs> The next is this cable right here. Not quite sure what this one goes to, but these clips on the side, you want to just pull them straight out. It'd be gentle, you don't pull too hard. But once it's pulled out of place, you can just pull that cable back. It's got a handy little tab on there, so you can just pull the cable out. Then next is this bridge between this other logic board over here in the main board and you just want to give that a bit of a pull straight up and that'll come it come off on uh, pretty easily then we've got these two cables here this one goes to the uh, to the video to the graphics and this one I'm not quite sure what it goes to I think it's the camera so you lift up this black tab on this side it's going to be on this side of it. I'm just going to pry up gently and then pull that back. And once that's free, you just pull out the video cable just like that. And we want to move those out of the way. So the, the board should lift free now. Uh, the one thing that's left is the actual cable that goes to the to the DC in and so we just pull that out of the board uh, same as the first one we pulled out just gently pull on that plastic piece and that'll come free and then we want to pull this screw out right here that's the uh, only screw that's holding the logic board in there so we just pull that out and set it aside and the logic board will lift free. And in a uh, newer machine that hasn't had this done, this uh, plastic is going to be all 
glued down here. You want to just pull on it gently, tab by tab. There's going to be some uh, perforations in it, so be careful that you don't tear into this plastic. Um, just gently lift and pull it back to expose this cable, and it's going to be stuck to it, so do what you can really pull them apart as you pull it back and that's going to expose the cable enough to where you can pull it out and then the last thing to do on there is just unscrew this and that'll come free and the part number on this I'll uh, leave a link to the uh, part in the description on eBay. It is 0, J is in Juliet, C is in Charlie, D is in Delta, W is in Whiskey, number 3. And if you look that up on Google or eBay, you'll, you'll find the part. And uh, from there, we just want to go, go ahead and go through the reassembly. Okay, I just had to swap out for another one. Um, that one was actually being replaced. So, this one here, uh, just as before, we have, you can see what it looks like when it's not shredded. Um, so this one here, we just pull this plastic back and put the new one in place. the screw in and we want to pull that back just enough to get this cable under there and it's gonna come out right about here so you can go ahead and leave it out there and you'll just remember it's where that middle screw goes so now we take our logic board and we put everything back the way it was so, you want to make sure these clips are still pulled out. Uh, this, it's easiest to start with this one. So, you keep those pulled out and just slide the cable into that spot. And once it's in there, you can lock it down. So when you lock it down, you just press it in towards the plastic piece, and that'll lock it in place. So, next thing you want to do is pull back that video cable so it's out of the way, so you can put the rest of the board down. And you want to make sure before you put this in place that you get this cable out and plugged in. Yeah, it's a lot harder if you put the logic board all the way into place before you plug that in. So with that in place we go ahead and plug in the trackpad. Then the hard drive. Let's see. And then we uh, plug in this bridge to the other logic board and that one's for like the Wi-Fi module and everything like that so we've got that securely in place it kind of helps to get one uh, one side pressed in or at least to where it's lined up and then press down evenly and you'll have to work with it a little bit try not to mess around with it too much back and forth because you can mess up the pins that connect there so I just want to make sure that that's on there nice and snug before we move on so it feels like it's in place and it's not popping off easily 
<clears throat> so then we move on to the next one, which is going to be the, the graphics cable. And same concept here. Get one side lined up and then press the other down. And that makes it a lot easier. And then this, what appears to be the camera cable, we'll go ahead and get that in place. And then you snap the back side down of it, on it, and that just locks it into place. And so, then we go ahead and grab our piece of tape that belongs on there. That just kind of holds it in place better. And what you didn't see in the disassembly video is this metal bracket that goes here. And that just secures that, that graphic, the cable in place. Make sure that it doesn't come out. screw. Let's make sure we're using the right ones. Alright. Here's the right one. If you're having trouble getting the threads to line up, just turn it backwards a little bit. Usually it'll snap into place. So, once you get that tightened down, that'll stay where it's supposed to be, and it won't come loose. So, we've got those all in place. We need to secure the back of the logic board right here with this screw. want to give everything a once over before connecting everything else. Mm. All right, so we go ahead and plug in the speaker over here. And there's a little it's a little vent for the speaker, helps keep debris out of there. You want to make sure that that's still in place. Um, if it falls out, you'll have to take the speaker back out in order to uh, put it back in there. So it's best to make sure it's there before you even start. And then we put the speaker in place and get the cable under these clips that hold it in place. And that just kind of helps keep everything secure. So. Finally, take the battery and helps to line up these back screws first. Um, and then press down on it and that'll put it in place. Um, but that cable actually goes into this groove on the battery. So make sure you're not putting it down on top of it. So, now if you've forgotten which screws go where, these shorter ones go in the battery. These longer ones go in the, in the case. So. And the hard drive uh, bracket, it, it's secured by the same screw as the battery. So if you have to, go ahead and move that to make sure it's got an opening to get through to the threads. And 
once that's all secure just double check everything else and then we put the bottom on and you should be good to go so this is just the opposite of disassembly you put it on and press everything into place so it snaps in On here make sure you get those pinched together and it should fit rather snug when you're done so. And when you're putting these screws in, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just <clears throat> whatever pattern works for you. Now that it's all uh, assembled, you just open it up, power on, and plug it in to make sure that it's getting a charge. And right there, you've got the light going on. And once this opens the uh, desktop, we can verify that it's actually charging the battery. All right. And there you have it. All right, as always, uh, leave any comments or questions down in the comment section. Let me know if anything was left out. Um, let me know if anything can be added to the videos to make it more useful for you. Thank you for watching.